The term all new is bandied around a lot in the auto business these days, and more often than not, it's a pretty tenuous claim. However, with a new 2021 Rolls-Royce Ghost, this is indeed an all new car from the ground up. In fact, the only carryover bits are the flying lady and the umbrellas that live in the rear coach doors. Now, Rolls says this is the most technological car it's ever made. So let's crawl over it and see what it's all about. The previous Ghost, launched in 2009, proved to be the most successful vehicle in Rolls-Royce's history. While it's hard to call any Rolls-Royce entry level, we can say this most affordable roller that slid in under the Phantom drew in a younger, more entrepreneurial buyer. New money versus old money, business casual versus tuxedo. While the outgoing sedan hung its opulence on a BMW chassis, this new Ghost rides on Rolls-Royce's own aluminum space frame. It's called the architecture of luxury. That was introduced with the Phantom 8 and now underpins the Cullinan SUV. It's lighter, stiffer, and gives the Ghost a wider track and longer wheelbase. It also bestows standard all-wheel drive and real-wheel steering, neither of which were available previously on the Ghost. The 2021 Ghost comes across as more modern, muscular, and clean of line. Definitely less shouty. To achieve this, four craftsmen hand weld the aluminum body together simultaneously to ensure a perfectly continuous seam. The Ghost design team, led by a guy called Henry Cloak, started with a clean sheet of paper and a new mandate dubbed Post Opulence. And what does this mean? Well, within the bubble of the Rolls-Royce world, that indicates an appreciation for simple luxury and purity. Seems the nouveau rich clients want to tone down the bling. Cloak says this new ghost doesn't shout, but whisper. And on the road, whisper it does. The engineering team burned the candle at both ends to ensure the sedan's cabin is whisper quiet, strategically placing about 100 kilograms of soundproofing material all over the place. In fact, they initially went too far with it, as the near complete silence proved to be disconcerting to some people. So, the lead designer, Jonathan Sims, said they had to introduce some sound elements back. A trace of engine noise, a bit of cabin resonance, trunk, that kind of stuff. And, just so you know, part of the acoustic tuning involved placing felt within the bends of the HVAC ducting. Rolls-Royce says this is the most technologically advanced motor car it has ever produced. Along with the all-wheel drive and rear-wheel steering, it gets the latest connectivity, safety systems and driver aids in the BMW arsenal. You'll recognize the interface and graphics as BMW's iDrive. No bad thing. And patrons will be happy to learn this new cloud finally gets a heated steering wheel. Yes, hard to believe the old Ghost did not have a heated steering wheel or blind spot detection. But that's kind of all part of the Rolls-Royce mystique. It's a wonderful cocktail of dichotomies, anachronisms and fabulous tales. You'll never find something as crude as a tachometer in a Rolls. Instead, the traditional power reserve meter lives on, letting you know how much oomph that the twin turbo V12 has left as you dip your Gucci loafer into that long travel gas pedal. Oh, sorry, petrol pedal. There are over 40,000 colors to choose from, but Rolls will happily match any color, be it Fluffy the Cat's Left Eye or the Mistress's Versace G-String. For an extra fee, you can name that color and it will never appear on another Rolls Royce. This new Ghost Dash introduces a new luxury delight, the illuminated fascia that showcases an ethereal glowing Ghost nameplate surrounded by more than 850 stars. Another first for the Ghost is the glowing grille. 20 LEDs subtly illuminate the veins. While owners of the flagship Phantom sedan more often sit in the back, ghost patrons generally drive themselves. All right, off we go then. Well, this 2021 Rolls-Royce Ghost feels every inch the Rolls-Royce from behind the wheel. It's got the uh, lovely, delicate, thin rim. There's basically, I would say, almost zero steering feel. But um, having driven every other Rolls-Royce product, I'll say this new Ghost is the smoothest riding Rolls-Royce I've ever driven. It's uncanny how it floats over the road. This is due to there's some new technology with this car. They call it the planar suspension system. There's three pillars to this. The first one being, which is new, uh, the sensors that read the road ahead and they adjust the uh, air suspension accordingly to get rid of all those pesky bumps and stuff that might come through the cabin. There's also a new damper system. They have a damper on the upper wishbone. It's basically a damper for the dampers, which 
cuts out even more of the road imperfections. And the third aspect of the system is the eight-speed transmission, which gets information from the satellite navigation system, basically reads the topography of the road ahead, ensures the car is in the correct gear for upcoming corners, hills, whatnot. And with the Rolls-Royce, the whole thing is you just get in and drive. There's no drive modes to select. There's no paddle shifters. The car is set up the way it's set up and that's it. This model has got an $11,000 audio upgrade, which the audio sounds pretty good to me, but it's not the best I've ever heard. So I would say that is a bit of a stretch, that kind of money for a good but not spectacular audio system. Now in this car there's also a, a, a coach line, or to normal people, a pinstripe. It's called a single coach line. It costs, I think it's about $1,900. And there's one man in the factory in England, his name is Frank Court, who does this. He was a local sign painter that was hired on when they opened the factory at Goodwood. And he uses um, a brush with squirrel and oxtail hairs. And he applies these perfect lines right down the side of the body in one fell swoop. He's the only guy that can do this. His son was his apprentice for a while. He was training him. But I just heard that the guy didn't cut the mustard. So maybe there's an opening. Any of you hot rod pinstripers out there, you might want to move to England and you know, stripe Rolls Royces. And so as I pilot this Rolls Royce, my uh, butt is resting on these beautiful leather seats that are incredibly soft and smooth and they're also heated, ventilated. There's massage in this car. But the leather comes from a herd of bulls that Rolls Royce has. They keep them in the higher altitudes of the Bavarian Alps, apparently high meadows where there's no bugs and there's no fences to mar their hides. And these uh, animals are kept indoors overnight. And if Rolls Royce told me that they were sung to sleep by descendants of the Von Trapp family, well, I'd probably believe that too. Everything about this car is about the story. It, there's a tale about everything. It's, it's fascinating, actually. I think that's part of the big mystique of the Rolls Royce is all the stories about the hand craftsmanship and the, and the crazy stories of the bulls and the guy who does the pinstriping is just, it's wonderful. Driving these cars is fantastic, but so much of the Rolls Royce experience is actually being back here in the back seat. This one is equipped with uh, massage. It's uh, got the picnic tables here. Picnic tables cost about $5,500. And it's just all about the good life, you know? Um, having someone drive you, uh, I'm just thoroughly enjoying this. My back is being massaged. I'm about to get a fantastic meal here in the back of my new ghost. I mean, this is the kind of car you would pull up to the casino in Monaco and, uh, driver, move ahead. You're a little, uh... Welcome to Burger King, my name is Peter. How can I help you? Uh, yes, hello, uh, Mr. Burger King. Could I have a, um, Whopper, please? Can Nothing... Can you a cheese either of those? Or just... No, I can't really afford that. Just the sandwich, thanks. <laughs> So I suppose at some point we have to discuss the droll subject of price because we the proletariat just have to ask. Now the 2021 Rolls-Royce Go starts at $343,140 Canadian but there really is no such thing as a base Rolls-Royce. They just don't exist. This one is optioned up with all the bespoke beautiful things to $460,000. Yeah, that's a lot of money and a lot of people just don't understand how anybody can spend that much in a car, but for the people who do buy these cars, it's all about the story, it's the prestige, and all the hand craftsmanship that go into these cars. For driving.ca, I'm Peter Blakeney, and for more luxury car reviews and information, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I wonder if they use the uh, Grey Poupon here at Burger King.